artists, it's Anna here and I just wanted to turn the camera on today and talk with you about becoming a prolific artist. I don't know about you guys but do you have so many inspirations and so many artworks in your head that you just can't get out whether lack of time or resources or you're afraid they won't turn out well or um, just having trouble getting started, maybe you're procrastinating your work. Um, probably most of us, it might boil down to just a lack of time. And you have all these ideas and you just struggle with being able to bring those ideas into fruition. This video is for you. So I've just been thinking about this, how I want myself, I want to make more art. I want to become a prolific artist. So I was just looking up some famous artists that we've all heard of. Van Gogh, he has about 900 paintings attributed to him. Monet has about 2,500 works of art attributed to him. And then he's also said to have destroyed a lot of his paintings, like 500 of them as well that we haven't seen. And Picasso, he has about 50,000 works of art attributed to him between his drawings, paintings, sculptures. And so if you, if art is your full-time job, maybe you don't need to watch this video and you have no problem just sitting down and creating all day long and you have a whole studio just full of art and that is so awesome. So maybe for some of you who do art like as a side job or as a hobby, you don't, you aren't able to make as many pieces as you want to and you just have all these great ideas building up that you haven't gotten out of yourself. So I just want to brainstorm and encourage you with a few ideas for making more art. Do you find yourself thinking about the works you're going to make? Imagining and planning I have really benefited from listening to an artist on YouTube here. His name is Jose Trujillo. You should definitely check out his videos and his work. They're phenomenal. Um, and he gives some really great motivational advice that I, I have benefited from. And he distinguishes two different um, mindsets or two different modes that we get into and one is the thinking mode and one is the doing mode. A lot of us spend too much time in the thinking mode and we waste our creative energy and time coming up with more and more ideas and planning how we are going to accomplish those and bring them about rather than just starting in and taking the first steps and actually getting those things done. Especially if you are creative, you are all the time coming up with new ideas. And it can be a temptation to stay in that thinking mode. Are you a planner? If you are, let me know down in the comments. I think of this simultaneously with the thinking mode. Plans are imaginary. They are not actually reality. Um, they're in some future time. They don't even exist. Planning is not bad, but when you are always planning and always thinking of at this future time, I'm going to do this, then you might be missing out on acting in the present moment. Sometimes planning is important, especially if you are preparing for something. For example, if you're going to be in an exhibition or an art fair, you, there might be a, an amount of planning required, such as you need to fill out the registration form, you need to um, title your pieces and make labels, um, you need to let people know about that. But although those things are planning for that future event of the, of the art fair or the exhibition, those are still concrete actions. You're not just thinking about what you're going to do, you are actually doing things to prepare for that event. So I want to get out of this mindset always of planning for the future, thinking of what you're going to do, and get us into this mindset of doing it now. Taking the first step. 
Plants can give you a little bit of a high because it's fun to imagine how great things can be. But they're not real. God willing, our good plans come to fruition, but a lot of times they change and evolve as real life hits us moment by moment. So even more important than planning what you're going to do is actually doing what you should and what you can in the moment you're given. So if we can take our mind out of down the road somewhere and put it into right now, what can I do right now? You will find yourself probably creating a whole bunch more and getting a whole bunch more done. Now, that is not to say that getting things done is the goal of life because it is absolutely not. Being is much more important than doing, but you do out of who you are and what you do reflects who you are. And as artists, at least I tend to live in this thought world too much of the time, thinking and planning what I'm going to do, what I could do, rather than the reality of doing the thing I can that's right in front of me. This moment right now is full of possibilities. Don't waste it thinking and waiting about a future moment that may never come. Planning takes us out of the present moment and you can waste your whole life away planning for what's going to come instead of living right now. Now, you guys know, there's a time for not doing. We can't be doing and getting things done all the time. There needs to be a time for everything in our life. Time for just being with the ones we love, time for just relaxing, time for playing, recreation, time for praying, thinking, reading, reflecting, learning something new. But if you have a tendency to plan too much and it is causing you to procrastinate your artwork, then try this simple exercise to get you out of the thinking mode and into the doing mode, like Jose talks about. By the way, you guys should check out Jose Trujillo. He's been so helpful on the business side of art and also just the motivation to work. I will link his channel in the description below. Another reason we often don't create as much as we hope to is that we might be confused a little bit about what we're setting out to do. The more clear you are about your goals, the easier it is to work towards them. So if you want to try this little exercise, grab a piece of paper right now. And number one, write, what is it that you want to do that you know you should do, you desire to do, you feel compelled to do as an artist? Maybe it's like a certain piece you want to paint. Whatever it is, you go, I want to paint more. I want to have my work in a gallery. I want to learn this new technique. I want to make a YouTube channel. I want to make a website and sell my work. I want to become a better artist. Next, number two, write down your reason. Why? Why do you want to do that? Just think about it for a minute. Knowing why you want to do something or feel compelled to do something will help you immensely in deciding to do it. And that is the third step. Number three, decide. Are you going to do this or not? Is it worth it? Is your reason for doing it worth it? Is this a good thing? Is this what you should be doing with your precious time, your life? Is this what you are called to do as a person, as an artist? Are you going to do this thing? Are you going to try to do this thing? Once you've decided yes or no, then you can put down your pencil, you can get up after this video, and you can begin. And I would suggest you just take a simple, small step towards whatever it is that you have decided. So for example, if I want to attempt um, 
a huge acrylic pour, maybe let's say five feet by seven feet. Then maybe the first thing I do is I get online and I order that canvas. And uh, maybe I write down the paints I want to use, write down the colors I want to use. And maybe I just brainstorm designs. Maybe you want to paint more every day. Another goal I have is just to paint, is just to make more paintings every day. First thing I might do is just to get my art studio space cleaned up. Might get up right now and just organize that space, set out the things I need in order to paint more every day, and then they are ready for me. I hope this video has inspired you and just given you a little bit of motivation to create more, to get some of those awesome ideas out of your head and onto the canvas or the paper. And I would love to see your work. Please leave me a comment and please send me an email with a picture of something, some of your work. I'd love that. Again, I'm Anna. Thanks for spending some of your precious time with me today. I really enjoyed getting these thoughts out of my head, and I'm excited to start making more art myself. And now I am going to get up and go make a painting, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Leave me a note in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. And if you just have the hardest time with continually procrastinating your artwork, it's totally a struggle that so many of us are just face. And I made a video on that too, how to stop procrastinating your art. So I welcome you to go watch that video. I'll leave it up on the end screen. And I hope that is helpful as well. Thanks for spending time with me today. I wish you the best in giving birth to some of your amazing ideas. Keep fighting the good fight, keep creating, and keep enjoying every moment that God gives you and doing the best you can with it. Take care, guys. God bless.